Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Fall Fantasy 2. Well, Altair has been absolutely nuked. The same goes for quite a few other towns in this area. So, this is the Cyclone section of the game, where the enemies get tougher, and things get pretty climactic. Alright, so, as a result of Altair being nuked, the next goal is actually Finn. I'll just leave the ship at Altair. Chris, it's just... I'm too used to it at this point. Sail up this way, and head towards it. And, as you can see... Oh yeah, that's a lot of enemies. Of course, uh, everybody here is actually kind of a joke at this point, so it's not that bad, but I do... Actually, I can run some bolts and nuke away at some enemies with these. I do need to run Holy as well, and some of these other spells, but we'll get to that when that comes. I'll run Fire 7. Yeah, I can do Ice 7. I want to try to get rid of those sorcerers quickly, as well as the Were- Were Panther's a joke, but, uh... Oh, that was fast. I thought they had more health than that. I'm probably thinking, uh, the Wizard. Which has 540 HP. So, that's a little unfortunate that that happened, but at the very least, everything else is a joke. The only threat's both three for some damage, which is, like, trash. Yeah, I'll train some of these lighter spells. I'll do Holy 2 on you. Arrow 3. Arrow 4, sorry, I'm so used to it's being level 3 that that's not the case anymore. Ice 7. <laughs> 69 damage is fun. 121 is okay. And of course the sergeants just get absolutely wrecked by Richard. But it's mainly uh, magic training, and that's really about it. So, I'll just let it go as is, and it should be good. Likewise, just keep powering up all these other spells. There goes that sergeant. And there goes the last one. Alright, so it's working out as intended, kinda. Magic power and MP up for Guy. Richard gets power up, and all sorts of stuff, including the amazing haste spell. Holy shit, everything else can suck it. The haste spell is what you really want. And I am personally going to use that on Maria as for... Oh, wait, too many spells. Um... Well, I think at this point I can set things up specifically. Because there are some spells I haven't been using. Blink and Shell have not been worthwhile. So... They're going down the drain. Sadly. I'll likewise just put everything up here. The these spells are okay. I'm having Toad for memes. Um, Holy and Ultima can stay as well, and that works out fine. Yeah, I just, I think I can use Slow at some point, just not with that one. Likewise with Maria, Blink, and, well, Shell hasn't really, uh, whoops. Shell just hasn't panned out, especially considering the damage is, like, absolutely mediocre, uh, compared to what I've been doing, so... I'll just leave this as is. Actually, heal can be dropped as well. I can keep life as an emergency thing. Arrow actually needs to go up here. Berserk. Actually, set it up like this. Uh, yeah, I am trying to just kind of goof around here. Well, not really goof, but, you know. I'll put the haste spell right there. So it goes to Maria, and there's the haste spell. 
As for Guy, I'm also gonna dump a couple spells here in the form of... Actually, he's used pretty much everything. I'll just let him stick with what he's got. It's mainly been utility stuff. There's Gatria, that's absolutely nuked. Head up here, and you can see Finn is still alive. And if you saw up there, that's a Cyclone. THE Cyclone, I should say. Go ahead and rest up the inn, and I also need to prepare myself for that Cyclone run, which, for the most part, I want to set myself up with Fire Weaponry. Not so much Resistance, but, uh, Fire Weaponry. Evil Kane can sit as is. I have the Flame Lance. Richard has the second Flame Sword. And, okay, so we are completely fine right now. No problem. No problem at all. Alright. I mainly need to stay in the inn. Uh, actually, I need to go to Paul's house, but I think I need to go through these events at the castle first. Yeah, as you can see, there's a tornado. As well as more of these guys. Um... I mean, I got an opportunity to just keep casting stronger magics, I may as well. And of course, I probably screwed everything up, because I need to move some spells where they need to be. One twenty-two. Oh wow, Drain. That's surprising to say, really. Granted, it's nothing special. It's level 8, and that doesn't do a significant amount. Plus, I can probably beat you down again, and it wouldn't make a difference. Bolt 7. Uh, not everybody, just the sorcerers in general. Arrow 3. Arrow 4, actually. Ice 7. Attack. Yeah, that was the one I was targeting. Yeah, let me move some more magic in order to get this correct. Intelligence down, power up. What do we got now? A trash mythical axe. I don't care about it. Of course, I have too much kill anyway. Might as well just let stuff waste. Yeah, let's move some magic. I need to move uh, these up like so. Likewise, that's set up correctly. Guy needs to have his arrow moved up to that. There we go. Alright, into the castle. We need to go all the way up, as you can see. Talking to everybody. Oh, great. So all we really need to do is simply head up. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And there's Layla! Who managed to survive. She, unfortunately, will not join the party. Good to see, though. Alright, so learn the whirlwind. It would be impossible to enter unless we could fly. What about the hero? Uh, alright, that doesn't work. Okay, so what you actually need to do is you need to use the pendant on the mirror in Finn to access the Weaver. In which case, I need to go all the way down and head for the southwest path, which will take us there. I was actually here once, just out of the blue. 
and uh, now I finally have our chance. Just gotta go all the way up here into this room, climb all the way up these stairs, and there's the mirror. Stand in front of it. Yes, it is indeed a shiny mirror. Item, and pendant is right there. The pendant's light is being absorbed into the mirror. Hello! Awesome. Okay, so this is a very unusual key item that is actually equipable, believe it or not. And what happens here is, if used as an item, it can cast Blaze 7 in combat. I assume it's Fire 7 in the NES translation, so he gets a free Fire Blast against some of these things, which is fine, though single target's still stronger. Anyway, uh, that's really about it for Finn. Except for the, uh, well, Paul's house. We need to go there next to grab some extra items, and then we are off for the Cyclone. Okay, we're at 12 minutes. I might have a little bit of time to run through the Cyclone. But it is going to be a dangerous dungeon, and not having exit means I have one shot at this. Nothing to matter as I managed to pull it off to this point. I think, I think I'm more than capable of pulling this off. No problem. As long as I have the knowledge and I'm not screwed over. In which case, I talk to... Interesting. Alright, now we gotta come over here. In which case, right on this wall, there's a false wall here. Inside is Paul's treasure room containing eight chests. Uh, speaking of space, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, do I have anything I can drop? No, definitely not that. And the mirror is okay. The thread I can take a drop. The hero you has to stay. So, item. Die. There we go. Alright, so eight items in particular. The first one is a black garb. Which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, resisting matter. And a defense of 40 with pretty nice resistances. Overall, actually makes it a pretty good piece of equipment. Now, uh, that resists the damaging status elements, so that's not a problem. You have the white robe, which does all status. I'm pretty sure Guy has a black Yeah, he has one already. So, the only one that would really benefit from this would be, uh, yeah, it would be Richard. So, that's fine. The next one is a Thief Gauntlet, which doesn't mean shit to me. An Elixir, which is fine, I can use that. Silver, Curious, which sucks. A second Blood Sword in the NES and PS1 versions. This is where you do get the Blood Sword normally for in the other versions of the game. If you got it now, congrats. If you got it in this version, or the PS1 versions, Oh boy, you've made this game easy mode. <laughs> and likewise, I'm actually going to give that as a temporary piece, just so I don't forget about it, on Guy. Yes, he doesn't use sword skills, but it's a temporary thing for now. Um, actually, um, I could give it to Richard for a moment. You know what, that's what I'll do. 
instead of Guy taking it, he'll I'll give it to Richard because Richard uh I'll change to this instead. And I can just flip back to the flame sword anyway. Carrying too much. Okay, um This is trash. This is also trash. Whoops. Okay, so trash is gone. Another gold hairpin. Which works out. Um, uh, it's already been picked. Flame Helm actually covers ice, which I would love to keep. I'll just replace that. That's fine by me. This resists mind attacks. Um, I mean, I already have a flame shield, so it doesn't make a difference here. Quartz, this is garbage that can dump. And finally, a Ruby Curus, which I can also dump. Okay. So, um... Yeesh. We're getting really... We're getting really up there in terms of trying to put our inventory together. But so far, we are doing okay. And, um, that's about that. Alright, so we're at 16 and a half minutes. I am more or less ready for the Cyclone. I mean, my only real issues here are mainly managing inventory space. There's only a couple chests in the Cyclone proper, but they all carry really good items. So, um, I just gotta stick with it. Go. All right. Um. Actually, now that I think about it, let me check the armor real quick because if there's purchasables, I can sell them. Yeah, that's all. That's all that stuff. Okay, that's just poison. All right, so I'm not worried. Um. Let me check my items one final time. Um. I think. I am totally fine, to be honest. I'll just use some of the other crap when the time comes. Now, with the Hiryu in tow, you can actually jump into the cycle. Here we go. And welcome to the Cyclone, which is a very strange dungeon. Alright, so let's make our way this direction and roll on up those first stairs. Okay, captains. Now we finally can really properly fight these things at 750 HP and 60 attack, 50 defense, and not much else. The Lamia is just a weaker version of the Lamia Queen you faced earlier in the game at 1000 HP and 70 attack power. 70 defense, as well as the ability to use Charm 9 on a single target, as well as Blink. Have fun. Okay, so, no resistances anywhere, you can kind of bash these guys how you want. And I am likewise going to do so. I want to try to conserve some of my MP here for some of these enemies that will require such items. Um... Oh shoot, I need to give something to Guy at least. I am gonna change this to the Flame Sword and roll. Oh, first strike. Not so tough now, are you guys? Alright, I'll let, uh. I'll let Maria and Guy take the captain. I think. I think Richard and Fearing can handle the rest with the Lamia. Okay, that job's done, even if it was criticals. Seven hits for 305. Oh, apparently not. Oh, the charm six is actually AoE. I thought it was one target. Oh well, um, 
Well, Richard moves slow enough anyway, I don't think it's gonna be that big a difference. Yeah, it's over anyway. Okay, so that's done. Shield level up for Furion. Let's go ahead and roll up these stairs, which will take us to the first chest of the dungeon in the Ripper Dagger, which is a bizarre weapon, as it has an attack power of 69. However, it's supposed to have an ability that really does 20 points higher than the damage that's recorded per hit. As a result, the damage is actually higher than it's really doing. It's kind of a troll weapon. If you have a knife user, you might want to pay attention to this weapon, as the damage it records is unreliable to what is actually dealt. Fortunately, I don't really have that issue. I have a Mango for that. Even then, I haven't been using knives. Oh, Devil's Blooming Goddess. Well, I mean, this isn't that unfamiliar. I can blast through this without issue. Fire 7. I'll let Richard attack as well. Oh, strike first! Cool. Sure enough, that worked out. Surprisingly. Now I don't have to worry about confusion. Of course, the goddesses can be kind of a nuisance depending on what happens, but I think I'm okay there. Well, that's the, uh, that's the Berserk 6. Fantastic. I'll have to blast through this one as, like, okay, this is, this is immediate target now. So I'm just going nuts. And I still don't pull through. At least the other goddess is down. And of course, a complete dodge because you suck. Imagine failing that hard. She'll level up for Guy. Alright, cool. Alright, 22 and a half minutes. I think I am on a treasure path here. I'm hoping I can get to the last one. Oh, crap. Okay, the Vampire Lady can is only weak to fire. It resists every other element and absorbs the death element. 1,140 HP. This is actually the one that does a single target charm. Uh, that's what I was thinking of. Um, regardless, it is definitely the most punishing of the group, and I am personally going to set myself up to nuke it. In which case, fire seven with Maria, and I want to at least take out two vampire girls, which don't have that much health, but I should be able to target it with this next turn. It also has access to Ice 12, and a couple other nasties, so it's definitely an annoying one. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have known because... <laughs> Guy has a Flame Lance, and I'm still on the Ogre Axe. Speaking of Ice-12... Yeah, this is the reason why I actually dropped Shell earlier this episode. You d it really, you don't need it at this point. So, I let go of it. Oh, Richard actually got past his confusion. Well done, sir. Alright, looks like Fire 7 will actually succeed here. Uh, I'll, you know what, I'll just keep going with the attacks. Uh, derp. Derp. Because Guy did not one-shot that one as I was hoping, this has to take an extra turn. Alright, there it goes. The other one gets demolished, and that leaves that one behind to do absolutely nothing, and I can personally just, uh, keep powering up fire. Shit, we're at 25 minutes now, so sadly, this is the last encounter of this episode. We will continue with the Cyclone in the next episode. 
Oh, sorta. Awesome. But regardless, that is the end of this video. We'll continue the cyclone next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.